iGym TV News Flash. The iGym 2021 journey continues with the DNA distribution kits being shipped to teams, several interactive workshops, cool new iGym TV shows, the launch of the collaborative joggle space, the assembling of Symbio associations to Symbio United, Forbes spotlighting an iGym team, and scientists making super strong glue out of proteins, and many such headlines. My name is Somadeep, and you're watching iGym News. We are excited to announce that the 2021 DNA distribution kits have begun shipping out to teams. Let us know when your box arrives by taking a picture with your DNA distribution box and tagging it on social media with hashtag welcome to iGym. For more information on the DNA distribution kit, check out the 2021 DNA distribution handbook on this link. Don't forget, free DNA synthesis for all teams from our partner sponsors IDD and Twist Biosciences and 20% off on DNA synthesis by GenScript. The dates for the virtual giant jamboree have been announced. Project discovery and judging from November 4th to 7th, release of nominations on the 9th of November, jamboree meetups from 12th to 14th of November, and the award ceremony on the 14th of November. The all new hashtag Synbio podcast is out now. This time's theme was computational biology. Zishan chats with Associate Professor Douglas Densmo from Boston University about Synbio robots. Tune in at iGym.fm. And iGymers of the World podcast returns with guest host Melody Wu. Megan Palmer chats with Melody about her iGym journey and talks about the birth of iGym human practices. Over to my buddy Hasnain Bukhari, who will update you about After iGym news. Thank you, Samodhi. Head After iGym, we had a fully stacked month of June and July, and there's a lot more coming up. After iGym just announced the launch of After iGym Spaces on Joggle. It has been created for you to take a look at all the projects being created by our community members, participate in them, create or recommend your own project, and find collaborators from around the world. Speaking about projects, Freedom Ambassadors for Asia, together with the steering group of IGM Education Network, concluded their ATGC workshop series for Indian high schools, with over 70 students participating who got their first look Inside the world of Synbio, we can't wait to see where they go from here. The IGM ambassadors also continued providing peer support 2021 IGMers with the work in progress series. If you are, are an IGMer and are looking for a safe space to share your IGM or connected experience, connect with them via their webpage. Moreover, 14 IGMers from nine different countries participated at the IUCN Global Youth Summit as a part of the After IGM Conference Fellow Opportunity. Check out their reflections right now on the IGM blog. How can IGMers build on the knowledge created by past IGM teams, connect with them, and engage with them? Check out the IGM Phoenix project on the After IGM website to find more about that. Last month, the string group of the IGM Open Science and Accessibility Network launched the Open Talk series with the first talk on discovering open software. This month, they will continue it with discovering open hardware. Last but not the least, the Global Alliance After IGM organized the inaugural Synbionated event this month to connect the synthetic biology associations and communities from around the world and establish communications among them. If you are from an association that did not event the event, or want to create your own association, connect with them via their web page. Whoa, that was a lot of information. Subscribe to our newsletter to stay updated with our activities. And now, over to you, Sayanthani, who will tell you about what's happening in the Synbio world. As of Althusbane, there has been a lot of news from Synbio Universe that we are very excited to serve as Twitter today. Two members from 2015 IGM Stony Brook team were in the spotlight in an article by Forbes magazine for research conducted to explore the effectiveness of cancer drugs. Anne Lynn and Chris Williano, the two former Stony Brook graduates, co-authored a paper titled Off-Target Toxicity is a Common Mechanism Action of Cancer Drugs Undergoing Clinical Trials. In the paper, the team uncovered that how some of the drugs may have cleared many stages of the drug discovery and development process for reasons other than hitting their primary targets. In other words, 
these drugs worked or demonstrated efficacy due to off target effects and not because the intended primary target was hit the paper was published in the very influential interdisciplinary medical journal science transitional medicine and turned out to be one of the most popular papers in its entire history last month as you can recall we announced one of the milestone events of synbio world the ginkgo bioworks going public a spin out of ginkgo bioworks in 2019 forty food works is a food technology company that is working to make plant based foods better tasting more nutritious and so desirable that people actually crave them as of june 16th motive announced it has raised 226 million dollars in series b round of funding speaking of alternatives there has been reports of crown baking research in the biomedical field by the great strength of synthetic biology tools starting from an ultra strong bio glue produced by genetically engineered polypeptides that is biocompatible and biodegradable and has the strength higher than any other protein based additives by at least one order of magnitude to smart watches that trigger cell based therapy for disease management we are most definitely entering a world where medicine is going to have a completely different and new meaning this was item news we'll be back next month with more breaking news and exciting stories from iron and synthetic biology world